Hi YouTube, it's your girl Natalie, the one true diamond coming at you guys with Thursday morning chit chat. Thank God, thank God it's Thursday. Today is my Friday. Thursday is my Friday because we're off for the fourth holiday on Friday. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, but I really came on. I'm at work early and I don't know why I came out so early, but I did because there's nothing couponing wise that I want to do. Um, so I'm like, well, I'm with the couponing right now because it's kind of dry out there. You know, it's dry in these streets. <laughs> yes, it's dry. So I got to wait for the next big moment, okay, of a run deal, okay? Um, but anyway, I just want to tell y'all guys, if you saw, I know I posted my yesterday's post this morning, so you might not have seen it yet. But, um, yeah, about our meeting yesterday, we had a meeting and during the meeting, there is this, um, they show, um, like, we have surveys that we give to the patients, okay? They have to tell about how their visit went, and um, they have to tell us how their visit went, and if they want to compliment any of the staff, or mention anything, or if there's any changes, or anything like that they want to report or talk about, okay? Well... They tally up how many times the nurse's name or anybody's name was mentioned, okay? Um, it could be a nurse or a care partner, which is a CNA. It could be either or, or it could be, you know, someone up the front staff. It could be any of the staff, okay? And my name got mentioned 19 times, which was more than anybody's, okay? I've been ranking high for the last few months with my name being mentioned. Now, um... Granted, you know, they say everybody, every staff, you know, they do say that on the surveys too. But when they specifically name someone, they like to just give what they call a shout out. They've been doing it ever since I've been here. Okay. And when I first came, it was like a big to do deal. Like, ooh, yay. She, um, she got mentioned such and such amount of times. Good job. Good job. Okay. For the last like three meetings since I feel like I have been ranking high. They have not, um, they have not done it. They've been just passing the paper around, and letting everybody look at it. So I'm like, I wonder why they're doing that now. But it came out yesterday in the meeting, okay? So one nurse was like, well, I want to think we should say something of congratulations to Natalie because she got 19 mentions she got 19 mentions this month and she said that's a big deal you know 19 that's good you know and then my manager the manager of the building said she done her hands just like this y'all can't get the full effect like hold up hold up she said we're not gonna do those now and she said and then the nurse said well oh i thought we usually do this and then so the assistant nurse manager said yes yeah. she said the way natalie be laughing in that room she said you know i can see why they did you know they do that but then she said we just didn't have time to do it at this meeting to individually do the shout outs so you know they were like okay you know so then the nurse manager even went further to say <laughs> oh my god i was so mad i was infuriated she was like um, yeah, she said there's other people who do a good job as well. And it's other people who make Natalie shine. I'm like, no, she did not just say that. Because they're not doing my job. They're doing their job. So Natalie's shining on her own. So when she said that, I was so... Mm, piss was not even the word for me right then. But you know what I said to her? In the middle of the meeting, in front of everybody, I said... You know what, Jean? You're trying to rain on my parade, but you can't rain on my parade because I know who I am. Like that. I yes, I did. I don't care if she meant she didn't say nothing to me all day and I didn't say nothing to her all day. She knew I was pissed and I did not care. I'm like, how dare you? You know what I'm saying? You one who's right steady, pushing work off on me, got me training people. I ain't been here in a year. And your nurses who've been here forever and a day can't even get one person in and out 
within an hour. They're keeping these patients all this long and they don't like that they keep being kept that long. So no, they're not going to mention you because they want to get in and out. They don't want to be here all day. So when she said that, I'm like, okay, your true colors have come out. So, you know, I'm going to hold on and I'm praying that God give me a change. You know, he's got to make a change. He's got to move those mountains. Well, he don't got to do anything, but I would love for him okay let me put it that way because god doesn't have to do anything but be god okay but something about that thing called favor hmm. favor ain't fair people think like why how did she favor ain't fair and yes i said ain't when you got the favor of god on your life there is nothing they can do to touch you they cannot break your shine they cannot, no matter how much she tried to break my shine, kick it down, stomp it down, because she did not want my name to be called out. She can't do it because I know who I am in the Lord. And God is always going to shine through me. And I'm always going to be victorious in every situation because I love Jesus. I know who I serve. I know who my God is. And, you know, it's nothing that she can do. She ain't got her hands ain't long enough to reach and fight God. She ain't big enough to fight God. And whoever God, God said he will bless who he bless and he will curse who he curse. And God chooses to bless me. And I thank him for that. And I give him his praise and his honor. And that's why I tell you guys every single morning, don't forget to give God his praise, his thanks for waking you up this morning starting you on your way giving you another chance to get it right because it's always a blessing to be able to get it right because there's always something that we've done wrong that day before and that it might have slipped our minds but god give us another chance every morning that he wakes us up that he breathes the breath of fresh air into our lungs and wakes us up you know a lot of people think oh i set my alarm yeah, through the grace of God, you're able to hear that alarm. How many, um, go set some alarms off in the funeral home and see how many people get up. Dang, okay? Grace of God that allows you to hear the alarm to be able to get up and get where you need to go at. But in our busyness, in our rushing, we don't need to forget God, you know? And so I thank God because I was very calm in the situation. I was mad. The Bible could tell us, be angry, but sin not. And I thank God, because it would have been a time when Miss Natalie would have had that place on fire. I'm going to tell you that right now. It would have been some choice stuff said. It would have blew up out of proportion. I'm telling you. But I thank God I was able to hold my composure, say what I had to say. Like my mama say, tell them off in a nice way. <laughs> yes. And keep it moving, you know. Because like I said, I know who I am in God. And you cannot take that away from me am i being um snooty or thinking i'm better than anybody else no i just know who i am in god and i know the god i serve and i know what he will and won't do for me you know what i'm saying so i i have no worries but anyway i ask him to either move that mountain or move me from this mountain you know help me to cross this mountain you know find if there's another job one of the girls who come over that i do the clinic with that's like once a week she was like there's an opening in our position in our building but i don't know if you're gonna want it or not because you don't get to interact with patients that much she knows she hears me and she knows how i interact with my patients so she was like you might not want to do that she says but um because it's a lot of phone calls and paperwork things like that she said you might not want to do that I said, okay, well, I'll check into it. I need to look online and actually look. Maybe that's God presenting that for me. Maybe he let me see what's going on here. And he's saying, it's time, my child, because I will not stand for this to be. But I'm going to stay prayerful about it. And I'm going to wait for his guidance to lead me. And I'm going to look at this job and see if I have all the qualifications. Because sometimes they want higher degree nursing than what I have. So I have you know, to check that out. But I am, I do plan on looking into that. And I'm going to cut this short because Booba has tried to call me three times during this thing. He's going to be like, where was you? <laughs> oh, he tried to call me three times during this video. So I got to cut it short. But I just wanted to let you guys know what was going on. This is just, this is the first morning chit chat. I had some substance to it, isn't it? <laughs> In a long time. Something to really talk about, okay? But, you know, y'all just pray for Miss Natalie. 
Because the devil is just so busy and people are allowing him to use them and don't even realize they're being used of the devil, you know. And they, if they know the word, then they'll know that the Bible says, touch not my anointed, mm, do my prophet no harm. He said it would be better that you hang a milestone, a millstone around your neck and be cast into the sea. You know, if you hang that around your neck and cast yourself in the sea, you ain't coming back up any kind of way. Then to touch the least of or to touch one of my the one of my least ones so that means the least ones in the kingdom of god people who you know i i don't know how you would consider least but just least that's what the word says okay so it must be levels to this thing okay to touch even the least of his one help his little ones you know and that's some serious stuff. So I was like, y'all just keep right on. Just keep right on because you're heaping coals of damnation upon your own head and not even knowing what you're doing. So I just walk in smileful, still my happy, jolly, Natalie self with my patience because you will not break me. Okay, you can do whatever you want. If I would sit down and tell you some of the things I went through and been through, then you'll know, okay, we need to leave her alone because if she went through that and it didn't break her. I'm telling you, I am like Whitney Houston. We were not meant to break. I'm telling you, we might bend, we might bow, but we were not meant to break. And that is the children of God. We're not meant to break, you guys. We're not men. We can go through some stuff. It might feel hard and it might feel, you might feel pain. You might want to cry sometimes. You might just want to be by yourself. You might want to be alone. But I guarantee you, you will not break and you will get through it. And when you look back, after you made it through, when you look back, you'll be like, my God, I didn't think I was going to make it. And when you look back, that little molehill is going to be so little. You're going to be like, that's what I was climbing. Oh, my goodness. It was nothing. You can make it. You'll be able to encourage someone else and tell them that they can make it through. No matter what happens, they can make it through. So I just want to encourage someone this morning that don't let situations, circumstances dictate to you who you are and what you're going to be. Know who you are in God. Know who you are. Stand on his word and you cannot go wrong, okay? Anyway, I'm going to go for now, but what y'all going to do, give God some praise, give him some thanks for waking up this morning, starting you on your way, giving you another chance to get it right. It's always a blessing to be able to get it right. Bye, you guys.